There's a lot of talk in the dental community out there about how many dentists are stressed and they're stressed with running their practice. They're not doing as well as they should, both financially and with just all the running matters in their practice. The things that stress the dentist are very rarely the clinical matters. It's usually the non-clinical matters. Clinical matters, they've studied very hard at university, they've gotten through it and they've done a lot of clinical courses. The non-clinical, it's another matter altogether. The non-clinical are the matters that actually make a patient judge a practice. A patient doesn't judge the occlusal carving on an upper molar. They don't judge the in marginal integrity of the crowns. They judge a practice by how they're treated, how they're spoken to, how the teams speak to each other. They judge it on all those matters and very rarely on the clinical. Now, I'm not saying that clinical matters aren't important. They're very important. And dentists should continue to do clinical courses for as long as they're a dentist. But if dental dentists only do the clinical courses, then the things that stress the dentist will stay there. So there is a need for the dentist to do the non-clinical courses, courses on service giving, courses on communication. They need to do things that are going to relieve their stress. Doing the same thing year after year and expecting a different result is a sign of madness. And wishing and hoping is not a strategy. Do something to help yourself. And it's interesting, Philip, I find too, a lot of dentists, the things they do that they believe is helping them is they invest a lot of money in technology and then learning about how to use the technology and then asking the team to sort of help with the technology. And my thinking around this is, and certainly because of all the changes that have been going on, spending time and effort around the technology, yes, is important, but as you said, maybe we're not focusing in the right areas. When you look at wanting to future-proof your business, it's about thinking about future-proofing your team as well, and spending time and investing time in really helping your team to be able to provide the service and support, which Philip mentioned, the things that are really important for your patient. And where are we then spending our time and money on? The sort of skills we're really thinking about here, and certainly there was a recent article, I think we both read in the, um, the financial mm -hmm. review, that talking about soft skills are critical now, but different soft skills. Things like being able to problem solve, you know, think on the spot, being able to show initiative, being able to, you know, take the lead in the business while the dentist is doing what they need to do. So when you're considering where am I spending my time, effort and money to really ensure my practice is successful for the future, let's look at our team and how they can support you in that.